Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to introduce a brand new series. This is the Quadcopter for Beginners series. Now, this is going to be part of a playlist on the channel, and as I create each of the videos in turn, I'm going to put them into this playlist in order. So if you've never built a Quadcopter before, you can come along and you can go through each of these videos one by one, and hopefully it'll give you everything you need to know to get it up and running and working with hopefully avoid some of the common gotchas and mistakes that we all make when we do our first couple of builds. Now the kit that we've got here has come from gearbest.com so I need to say a very big thank you to those guys. There's lots of different options that we could use for the different kits that are available. This one just happens to be using some of the most common components that we tend to come across. We have some lovely Emacs motors, which we use an awful lot on the channel, and they're really solid. We have an SP Racing F3 Deluxe clone, so we'll see how good that is. We've used the SP Racing F3 board on lots of other builds that we've done. It runs clean flight, base flight, beta flight, iNav, all those kind of bits and pieces go onto it and run really well. We have a power distribution board. In the back, you can kind of just see the frame and the other pieces too. So apart from the radio, the receiver, and a battery, this should have most of the stuff we need in order to go through this series. So a big thank you to Gearbest for sending this through to us. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting the same kit and following along with us. Now let's talk about what we're actually going to cover in the next couple of videos. So first of all, we are going to do our first video after this one, and we're gonna talk about choosing a kit and getting ready. Now the channel that we already have has hundreds of videos that cover lots and lots of topics, hopefully at a level that's useful for beginner and intermediate pilots to help them understand how to get the most out of this technology. Now I'm going to reference some of those as we talk through this series, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining the topics as we go through. So rather and you have to watch five or six additional videos to the one you've tuned in for to understand what I'm banging on about. I'll try and cover it all in there. But I will do the links back to things like choosing a kit and talk about flight controller comparisons. So if you're looking at getting a kit, you can decide which flight controller and the kind of motors and things you're interested in. And then when you buy your kit, you have the pieces that's going to work for you. The next one after that is going to be prepping and checking the flight controller. Now, as we've talked about, this is an SP Racing F3 Deluxe that comes as part of this kit. We've used those kind of boards already on the channel quite a lot. We tend to run them with clean flight. So what we tend to do is set the flight controller up first, connect it to a computer and make sure that the flight controller is working before we do any soldering or any connections or clip any wires or anything, because making sure that that's working is one of the key parts of the kit. The rest of it is pretty bulletproof, and you're quite unlucky these days, even if you get a Duff ESC or speed controller, but that does happen. So we'll start with the flight controller, make sure that we can flash it with the firmware, that we can configure it, and that it's all okay. And then once we've done that, we'll make sure that all the pins and connections are on there, and we'll talk about that too. Next one then we'll do is we'll build the frame. So the frame here is kind of an X, frame you can just about make it out in the shiny plastic there's some standoffs with a top piece as well this is quite a nice little small frame so we're going to have to be a little bit compact about how we put everything in here but we're going to build the frame and I'll give you some tips and tricks about that talk about things like Loctite which is a way when you're putting metal screws into any metal containers it'll stop it coming undone once we've built the frame, then we'll start putting the power system together. Now there's this board here, this is something called the power distribution board, and that's connected to a battery connector where we plug the battery in that we're going to fly with, and out of this comes lots of the different leads that go into the speed controllers that ultimately connect to the motors. Now if all of that sounded like gobbledygook, don't worry about it, we're going to cover it in those videos, and we'll go through each of the steps, making sure that everything is connected and showing you some tips and tricks for that as well. Once we've done all that, the next video we'll do is connecting the radio and the receiver. Now the receiver is going to hear the control inputs that we have from the radio and tell the flight controller how we want to move the quadcopter. And then the flight controller's job is to interpret that with how the model is already moving and the speed and direction and vibration and accelerometers and gyros and send commands out to each of the motors so that the quadcopter actually does what you're asking it to. We'll talk about the radio and receiver. I'm going to use one of the radios that we have here, but we'll talk about some of the basics because some people are getting a little bit stuck about C 
PPM, SBUS, PWM, how it's all set up. So we'll cover it in a basic way and show you how to put that together and how to create a basic model on your radio to get it working. Then we'll put it all together and we'll do final setup. So that's going back onto the flight controller, making sure that the flight controller is set up, that the radio is working, the fail safe on the radio is set, that we can arm the board and it all looks fine. And then once we're happy that it's all looking tickety boo, the last video we'll be talking about the first hover and also talking about learning to fly a little bit as well. In parallel with these videos, as you're going along and hopefully building something like this with us, I'd recommend that you get hold of something like a little Hubsan X4, little baby quadcopter. We love them here, and we always recommend if you've never flown a quadcopter before, while you're building this, go and get yourself one of those and practice with it, because it's a lot easier to repair those little quadcopters, and they do less damage when they hit stuff than when you built this. A lot of pilots who've never flown a quadcopter before, if it's your very first time, if you've spent a whole week of evenings putting this thing together, making sure it's all ready, then go out and destroy it in the first 15 seconds, it can be very heartbreaking. We have a lot of those instances of subscribers coming onto the channel who are very disheartened. So practice with a small quadcopter while you're building this. By the time you get ready, you'll at least have some of the basics under your belt. So stay with us for the next in the series where we're going to talk about the kit contents, what's in here and getting ready to build. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and happy flying.